Yeah. Unlikely, though. This pack's pretty weak. Looks like we are seeing green. I think the axe could wheel, too. It could go either way. You go for the science. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, well. All right. All right, amateur. Work got busy. I, I will. I will have a great stream. Thank you so much. Always good to see you. So we could go into blue here for bubble snare. We could just keep taking green cards. I think we just keep taking green cards. And I think it's colony over Arbor Mage. Similarly statted. Um, two drops better than three drops for me. I don't. I have not really calling his second best green common, for whatever that's worth. C plus. I have the uh, whatever that other one was, Dauntless, something. I can't remember the name of it now. But I, I mean, it might be a C plus as well. Man, to late Geyser Mage. But there's also Vastwood Fortification. This card's totally fine. And there's a Shepherd of Heroes here. Yeah. I think I'm on Geyser Mage. Over Fortification. Good with... Um, This guy, Sproutling. I have some kicker here as well. Gloom Hunter. Uh, pretty good. I mean, like, if you play this for six as a 3 3 flying lifeling, that's pretty sick. If you play, playing it on turn two or whatever is fine also. Maybe you can acquire a plus one plus one counter. Or do we just take Seafloor Stalker here? I think this is too slow from what I've seen. You would take Cinderglasm. All right. How, why? <laughs> uh, all right, Canopy Baleth, Dauntless Survivor. Green looking pretty open. No four drops yet. Huh, if we'd taken that black card, I would be super into taking Dauntless Survivor, but I think I'm down for Baleth here. RG could be kicker as well. Fair enough. Uh, I guess I'll take. The, I guess I'll take the Balath. It's not how I have them ranked, but obviously, rankings kind of go out the window as soon as you start drafting a deck. Still, both solid cards. Oh baby, Tazim Royal Mage on the wheel here. Kicker ability. Gets back our into the royal that we took. Oh no, we took this axe instead. <laughs> That's okay, though. It's okay. Axe is still good. Um, and we wheel the Lull Mage is familiar. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Cut. Might play. Uncommon. It's a great wheel. Yeah, we only have one spell so far. It's true. If only. If only there was another spell we could open. Oh, is this good enough? Over Balath. It's better than scale for sure in Glacial Gas, but I think it's better. We've got the we've got the ramp ish here with the familiar. Maybe we find some uh, ways to uh, find extra lands and stuff. Certainly early enough that, that, that that's all possible. Really nothing in this pack for us, so let's grab it. I'm, I'm not a believer in this card yet, but this should be the deck that uses it the best. Six Royal Mages... 
one of these when easy seven wins. Okay. All right. I can see that being pretty sweet. What do we like here? At Zendikon, turn timber ascetic, or if we want to play a two drop, we could take the beast. I, I don't think we care about creature types really at the moment. Not too interested in the beast. I'm more interested in the Zendikon or the ascetic. So I guess I'm more interested in the Zendikon because it has reach. I guess I could see a world where Deliberate is the right pick. All right, and here's pretty easy visionary, I think. Nothing really going on here. These blue cards are not very exciting. Uh, Blood Sheath Thirst is pretty nice, but doing a double black thing when we just picked up a triple blue spell seems kind of tough. Oh, my screen is blocking. Yo, it is. That's, uh, that's not cool. How do I fix that? I have to, like, turn my overlay off or just draft like this? Nope, that doesn't work either. All right, I will find a solution for that. Um... So we got a Ruin Crab here. Haven't seen this happen yet. Um, I think I'm in more interested in the Royal Mage or Reclaim the Ways for what we're trying to do. Have you seen Royal Crab just ruin people yet? Yeah, I think so. Plus, it's a two-drop with types. Steal the stuff. We do need some ramp, though. All right. We might have a decision to make here. We've got one of these land spells. Random 1-1 one, one flyer doesn't seem like it does much here. Diviner's kind of interesting. Field research is kind of interesting. I think I'm on field research. Yeah. Diviner was in our O3 deck. We never drew it, but I feel like we could get it later. The fact that this has kicker is pretty important. And, like, there was a bunch of situations in the first draft that we did where I, I just felt like, we had no way to draw extra cards because we didn't. And it's like, how are we ever getting back into this game? Relic Amulet. This is the one I was thinking about in my head without talking about it. We have five wizards. So this is the one we would want if we were going to play it. Um, what if we cast an instant sorcery or wizard? It's going to be like really slow and clunky. But I think it's better than the rest of the pack. Yeah, we don't have very many spells, though. But we'll get there. Okay, fourth Royal Mage. Uh, yeah, sure. I think it's better than this Diviner here. Given that we've got Sproutling and Domination. Yeah, if we find a... Uh... Oh, you take Gecko here? Oh, true, I didn't even see this card. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ramps you and gets bigger. Sorry, missed that. Didn't even see it. Cut. Well, do you want to deliberate? I don't think so. Probably just want the ascetic here. I don't know if it's gonna make our deck though. I kinda hope it doesn't. Uh, I don't think these cards matter at all. Could take spare supplies as a card draw spell. But it doesn't trigger any of our things. Yeah, thank you, Max. <laughs> yeah, we got one anyways. Uh, I'd probably rather have the 6-5 here. There's Diviner. Last pick, Diviner. Okay. Okay. Uh, this card's busted good, but we can't take it. Horn Beetle. 
Veteran Adventurer is also a bunch of different creature types. Six wizards, not much else. This is going to be like a five mana. Five, five, that's still pretty good. Blood Beckon. I'm not seeing that. Did I miss that? I missed it. I missed it in the last pack. Okay, we're going to take uh, Cunning Geyser Mage here, I think. Over Mauling. Venture. Yeah, I think this card's decent too, but I want the kicker. Another Zendikar. Zendikon. Horn Beetle's not really doing it for us. Could take Living Tempest. We don't have any fives, really. Get people with this, maybe. Could go any any different direction here. I think it's between Zendikon and Tempest, though. I take the Zendikon. Heck's pretty bad. Yeah, do we take Vine Gecko here or Into the Royal? Feels like we need Into the Royal. Triple Mage. We don't have any interaction, really. Plus, it triggers our Relic Amulet. I think we just have to take the Royal. It's a chance this comes back. We wield this thing. Love the artwork on this, by the way. Uh, pretty easy reclaim, I think. We are looking to hit land drops and cast big spells. Does not ramp us, but kicker spell, etc., etc. Where's our Roost of Drakes? That's what I want to know. Seer. Is yeah, it's decent. We've got a lot of four drops already, but yeah. Uh, Balath versus Field Research. I think I'm on Field Research. Or do I have splash stuff in the board? Good question. Not really. Cinderclasm, I suppose. Uh, I'm on this floral hedron by a lot. The ramp it provides is sweet, and then sometimes it's just a land, which is fine. I think I'm on it over the seer. I bet you we could wheel, wheel a seer pretty easy. There's another one. Uh, I guess we could take it here. Three, four, five, six, seven. We're pretty good for twos. This is a wizard for the relic amulet, which is meaningful. Most of the land ones are good. I would agree. Ooh! Yes! Yes! Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now that we've... <laughs> yeah. Now that we've taken that... Geyser Mage or Royal Mage? Both pretty sweet. Kind of feels like a toss-up to me. They both cost six when you kick them. We'll take the Royal Mage, I guess. Oh, you would take Geyser Mage for interaction? Fair. Really glad we have the Royal that we have. <clears throat> this deck maybe wants Glacial gla Grasp, right? You like the squid, eh? This deck might want this card with four of these. Might be too slow, but... Hey, wield it. Got the seer anyways. All right, well, this is uh, 
This is a brew? I just wish we had, like, a reach creature or two. But... Our curve looks pretty good. Alright, let's give it a try. Do we have any wizards in the side here that we're not playing? No. And we have... Nine in total. It should be pretty good for this amulet. Plus, we've got six spells. That's true. The relic can take care of flyers. We just have... Yeah, we're, we're, sh we're a little shy on interaction here. Minus reclaim plus the squid. I guess we don't really need the reclaim if we're not splashing, eh? It's still good to ramp us, though, and hit landfall triggers. Okay, we go first. That's nice. Nerlid Colony. Gonna be attacking for four next turn, potentially. We might just need to field research, though. I think we do. Just wanna hit land drops, right? Squid wearing the axe is scary. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's a lot of damage. I'm gonna divination here. Make sure we hit our land drops. So we could go pickaxe, land drop, swing for four, and then cast, uh, I guess, relic amulet and reclaim the wastes. Is that all too fancy? Charge up the relic amulet? That seems, seems all too fancy. Maybe we just play diviner. Ha, <laughs> you're thinking the same thing. Then we get to start charging up the relic, right? And we get a clock going? All right, well, I mean, if you're on it too, then yeah, let's, let's do it. True, yeah, the sooner we get the axe down, the more it actually can do for us. Uh, it feels like we need blue a little bit more than green. Especially if we do draw our mind control card. Alright, race is on. When it's going to ramp it up. It's good for us. Don't think there's any reason to go. I mean, we could go research Royal Mage, but then we don't get any value other than we're ticking up this amulet. So I think we just play Diviner and grow our board. We've got another attack for four next turn. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Plus we could potentially move the ax. The only thing is if we trade this off, we don't get uh, a card, but we're not, not interested in blocking this 3-3, which is uh, not a great card. I'm gonna make sure that I don't have that rated highly. Yeah, I think this is a C minus at best. That's a big card. I'm gonna go even lower on it, actually. I'm gonna go deep. Low. 
in. Take it. Well, now we don't get to attack. That's true. I guess it's not really a two for one. Or we just equip the diviner. What if we just equip the diviner and hit them for five? Cast field research. Then they're just dead next turn. This equips for three. I think that's what we want to do. You'd want to get the big creature off the board. This line loses to removal. That's true, it does. Right. That's true. I was not thinking about fight spells. They're going to take our domination if they want it. Is it exile? No. So we can get it back. Yeah, that's a good point. Well, what's it going to be? These divinations feel pretty darn good. All right. A little bit of a suboptimal line there by me, but uh, got a little bit lucky. They did not punish us. GG. Got a win. What? What's a win? What is that? So do we want to bring in this squid? If we bring the squid, take that out. We still got a bunch of kicker spells, don't we? I like the warm, fuzzy feeling of this, being able to search up for different lands, though. Just to, like, make our life a little bit easier. But I guess we... I guess we're, like, playing more for, like, when our deck actually does the thing. That's true, too, yeah. That's true. If we look at that thing as a... Uh, a four drop reclaim, right? Yeah. And then these are all like sixes. It's so potentially fives. So it is nice to have another two there. This is like a six. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. Uh, yeah. Great hand. Let's keep it. I'm assuming we want to start with Colony, save the mage to get this back. The fight is not going to be as great with a 2-2, but... It's kind of where I'm at right now. Oh, well, that's a pretty good target, actually. So now I'm really into this. See, so yeah, I'm I was kind of high on this card in my initial review. We'll see you. How good it is. There's not a lot of ways to like double trigger, which maybe makes it a little bit worse. Ooh, do we want to kill Banneret? 
probably still just want to kill the hell out. It's going to deal more damage to us in the current uh, state of things. And then attack. We're never blocking. Still have mana up. And then we get to play Visionary. Yeah, I guess I'm just thinking we by then we can pick it up. We will have picked up the ambush. We can use it again. So this won't be able to block the GOP, so we should attack now. You might want a royal here, as opposed to visionary. Interesting. So you wouldn't you wouldn't cast visionary and just try to block this? That's true. It wastes so wastes one of their triggers. Draws us a card. You would have stayed back and bounced. Bounced on their combat? I guess. Mm. I think I'm, I'm more inclined to play to the board, but I see it. I guess not, also not much would count. I'm just thinking like they could have a shelter card. I guess that doesn't really matter too much. But now I guess we're not like really that interested in blocking because they could just have a a, uh, a trick, right? Whereas if we hold up royal, like we just know we're not taking five. But if they do come in here, I mean we're still cracking back for five on our our side of things, and then we have royal for next turn. In oh jeez, so they definitely have a pump spell. So that means we just can't. I mean, unless that's like the, just the dirtiest bluff. Heck. Copy target activated ability or triggered ability. So they copy the landfall with this. Copy target permanent spell you control. So we could break that up with Royal. Yeah, they could just bluff me right out. It's true. It's true. So. That's instant speed, too. So, I mean, what we would potentially want to do is block GOP with visionary. See if they want to just trade, and then if they go to like copy it, we could bounce the we could bounce it. It's kind of a two for one, or if they go for a trick, we we bounce it as well and get the two for one. So here I'm inclined to still attack with the colony and leave visionary back as a blocker. And then next turn we get to maybe get Royal back. So it takes their entire turn to copy something with this, but that seems very powerful. Oh, now that they, now they got one, one mana plus two plus two though, then they get to do both. 
So that's kind of disgusting. Well, this doesn't feel like it's going to go so good for me. Something tells me they've got the allied assault, though. And not the one white plus two plus two. <laughs> uh, of course. Still feels like we kind of just have to go for it here. Otherwise, we lose our visionary. And then we don't have an opening to cast Royal. And we kind of need to cast Royal so that we can cast the Mage and get it back. So I think we have to go for it here. Kind of a bummer. Unfortunately, I'm not able to predict these play patterns. I'm just in time. I'm predicting them like when it's too late. Lithoform engine. Seems pretty good. They're not going to do it. Does that not work the way I thought it did? Now I'm confused. Does that mean they have another trick to hold up? copies creature spells on the stack you can't caught maybe they were trying to do it I guess that makes sense otherwise I wouldn't have the word spell in it I was thinking it could make copies of your actual dudes that are on the battlefield oh we're still behind so this card isn't actually that good still good but not as good as I had originally thought But they can now copy landfall abilities, I guess. Hmm. If they did that, this would become a seven. This would be eight. We get them for five, and that's not going to be enough. So I think I got to leave the visionary back. Then we're just taking damage needlessly if they have a land. That doesn't feel too good either. I think I'm just gonna go. I'm, I'm just gonna attack. Now we could just get back the colony ambush here, and that would let us actually just deal with this GOP at the expense of one of our creatures. And then it's gone. If we get back Royal. It's probably still correct to just get back Royal. Because we our board is, is getting bigger. I guess this leaves us dead to pump. So 
I think we're supposed to trade with the Banneret as a result, because if they've got plus two, plus two, then we just die. When our clock is still the same, so we're going to go Royal that and probably just play Colony. So I think this makes some sense. I guess if they got another creature to play, then that's a little awkward too, but this, I think this makes sense to me. Do. So now we have seven. I think we just get in with Visionary, try to double block the champ. They're just gonna trade off. No. I guess if we do bounce the GOP, they can copy it the next time they cast it. If they draw another land. That's kind of scary. That's kind of scary. We just kick a Gnarled Colony. And then we still have uh, royal mana. I'm actually into that. Kick a gnarled colony. Double it up. We would like it if they did that. Not going to. Scorch Rider with haste. And it's going to pump the champ. Ooh, this could be trouble. This is trouble. So we bounce Scorch Rider. Champ is two power. We could double block GOP'd. Go to one. Untap with five power. It's less, it's not six though. I think that's the best we can do here. Otherwise, we just bounce GOP'd and lose both of our creatures. And maybe we draw land and we get to Royal Mage, get the, get into the Royal back. Pickaxe, squid. Squid's not bad. These don't have trample. We're we supposed to just play out everything and put them to one. And if they draw land, they can cast this and copy it on D. If they draw removal, uh -oh. we're still not dead. I think we'll just play everything. <laughs> Cooper, it's okay. It's okay. No, nope, it's okay, buddy. I don't know what 
they're doing out there. Some kind of property what? maintenance or something. Washing windows. Coop, it's okay, bud. All right. Are we gonna make it here? This is such a close game. Opponent's thinking about it. All right, I think we got there, guys. Except we don't get to attack with the squid, but that's okay. Because they're at one, and we have four attackers to their three. Whew! Come on now. Opponents on the play. Got a little spice, a little bit of a spicy one here. Two drop into three drop ramp creature, and away we go. I like it. Number 27 on the ladder is our opponent today. Scary. They're on blue white. Is it possible we just want to play Royal Mage? Colony later, probably not. Probably not. Getting back into the royal bunch seems pretty, pretty nice to me. <clears throat> I think we just play the familiar over the gecko. Can maybe double spell the gecko next turn. Or, uh, just play Seer, I guess. My opponent's playing Seer as well. Okay, now we have five mana. Does that change anything? Not really. I think we just play Seer. play Gecko and Royal them and hit them for two. And then get the start getting Royal back next turn with the mages. I don't think we Royal them until their turn though. I actually think that's what we want to do. Nice match making the royal mage with the royal. I don't want to bounce that. I guess we bounce the seer so they gain less life. This is each turn, right? But. Is this going to be able to attack through? It will be able to attack through because it's going to be a 4-4 next turn. So yeah, I think we're down to do this. The value. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Good colony for 4. 
Or just Royal Royal? I think we just Royal Royal. Oh, Diamond versus 20 second. Gecko, pretty good. It's not saving me on car insurance, but it is certainly uh, smashing our opponent right now. Lots of scrying here. One top, two bottom. Yeah, you can find something pretty good after doing that. Okay, well now we don't have attacks. I mean, we could just bounce Seer. I guess we just attack with Vine Gecko. See how they block and then bounce some if they, if they just double block we get to bounce something and kill if they triple block we get to bounce the seer and two for one them of course they know we have royals so they're they're either going to triple block or they're just going to take it or is there a world where we just don't need to attack at all I'd like to keep the pressure on and, de and and remove some of their party members. Okay, they just take it. Sure. So now we can kick a Gnarled colony at four. And that's it, though. Because we only got five mana. Yeah, I guess that's fine, though. The gecko! Oh, I'm glad you uh, made me pick that early on. Oh, maybe balance is better. Perhaps. I like the idea of growing the gecko, though. But yeah, perhaps Baloth is, is better. Baloth. What do you think? Is it Baloth or Baloth? Jeez. Opponent's deck looks pretty good, though. B Snare. Can royal that. That doesn't help us really, though. So we do want to play Balot this turn. Suppose we want to attack with Gnarly Colony for the same reasons. We attacked with Gecko last turn. It's kind of their their blocks are tough when we have Royal. And then I guess we'll follow it up with Balith, and we might not play a land this turn. Depending on what they decide to do. We're supposed to just like royal though, right? Royal the seer to kill their shepherd. They know we're gonna do this. So what is the, what? Is, what is their plan? They're gonna bounce ours. Practice tactics. That's pretty sick. Still get draw a card though. Okay, we can just squid it up. 
We can uh, hold on to our land. Is that worth it? We want to kick a geyser mage, I think, next turn. I think the squid being able to attack is pretty cool. Yeah, you're right. Maybe I should have just, uh... I mean, it's still like a one for one. But the trade wasn't horrendous for us. Would you have not attacked at all there? Oh, I see. Just wouldn't have bothered playing Royal. Just take the trade with the, the Shepherd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, because now we're now our board is is not as impressive as it would have been. Right. Is this good? Seems like it. Right. Yeah, you never want to be the first one to play the trick. So, convert a mana cost. They have eight or more? No, of course not. We have two, three, four, five, six mana. So we can do this for four because of Vine Gecko. It's not, not enough to take their Shepherd, but still taking their Seer is probably worth it. Oh, it's not a kicked spell. Right. So we can only take their healer or their cell sword. Is that worth it? Or do we just play Balith? Or do we just bounce something? I still kind of just like taking their stuff. Bounce, seer, attack with everything. And don't time out. All right. Oh, sorry. Guys are mage. Yeah, I can dig, dig that too. Even the familiar gets in. So you can double block it, right? bother yo man sphinx of revelation over here sphinx's revelation I should say Yeah, well, it turned out okay for us. They didn't they didn't go for the double block. They gained so much life. Might be time to just get canopy bailiff down. If it wasn't already time for that a long time ago. Do we have eight in our graveyard? No, so they can't scatter us. I think Divination is a better card. Yeah, I would agree with you. But... When you're able to cast this for three, it's looking pretty dope. All the scrying going on. We're giving them so much value with this seer. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's true. It's, it's certainly a higher pick. But when this when this is happening, it feels pretty nice. Unfortunately, we can't steal the shepherd still. We can just steal the seer and attack with the Baloth. They still have to like double block and lose their shepherd, which I like. So I think we do go for that. Hey, Sobek. I don't know if that's the case. We've got a decent one going here. Scoot, Swarm, Royal Mages, and Rabid Bites, and I beat everything. <laughs> yeah. Royal Mage is a nice one. A real nice one. Okay, well, there's the land. Now we can steal their Shepherd. We still don't have a tax, and they've got a billion life here. So do we, though. Oh, instead of stealing. Right. Oh, I guess we could have attacked there. Because we've got the relic amulet. To shoot down the shepherd. That was, that was bad. I should have attacked. Right, yeah, and then we wouldn't have lost the Balith. Yeah. I'm going to be able to steal multiple things. Yeah, that would have been better, though. Good. Still just want to steal here. Bouncing Shepherd doesn't seem good. They're not at low enough life total. We're really pressuring them. Bounce, token, attack, all. They just get to eat our royal mages for, for nothing? Royal Mages with Relic trades. Yeah, but they just go like block, block, and then we lose them. We lose one of them. We lose both of them. I kind of just want to get in with these two. 
I guess the royal mages really aren't doing anything. So now they can just make infinite tutus. But I mean, they just take six here. I don't even think they bother blocking, right? Right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the other royal mages don't have any uh, <clears throat> my, a whole lot of use to us once they start making infinite tutus. Interesting, they're putting the shepherd in combat here. I don't see why they don't just take six damage. They're not really under that much pressure from us. All right. Right. Oh, I see. Sure. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Oh, this card's so good. Hope I don't see this one too many times in this format. Sure would be. Are we supposed to kill this stalker? Or are we supposed to steal it? I think we just kill it while we have the, uh, while we have access to it. Hmm. Well, if we cast field research, we get one thing on the amulet. That's not good enough to really enable any attacks for us. I think I'm just going to steal now. Oh, they have eight in the yard. Oh, I didn't realize that. We can't cast a second spell. So it doesn't even matter anyways. Uh, I'd be down to trade Geyser Mage for 2-2 two -two token, I th think. Oh, no, no. I think we just get in with everything. Except for this. Because now we've got this, right? Yeah. Figured it out. So what, they have the Wrath then? They either have it in hand or they have it in their deck and they're just trying to draw towards it. True.
I just don't know why um, they let go of that flyer. Because they could have pumped it up. Uh, so now we could take into the royal to hand and end of their turn bounce bubbles there and kill them. That's my current plan. I don't know if that's uh, misguided or not. We also bounce journey, but then does this come back? This comes back under their control though. Because this is their card. Okay. So they did have it. Um, so we should bounce. Not Shepherd, obviously. Bounce our own Royal Mage, I guess. Get back the, yeah, get back the um, mind control. Steal their 3-3, potentially. Or just play around 3-3. 17-13. What a game. Eight mana now. Suppose we still go for it. Thinking we want to cascade first. Fortunately, we can't kick field research. But I think we just play it. <laughs> Sweet. 12, 13. I'm just thinking they might play something better. Oh, yeah, it only costs three blue. Whoops. Oh, we can do that now. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that was probably better. Better than casting, uh... Thing, anyways. Divination. Yeah, I forgot that this cost three. Pretty good. Pretty good interaction there, Max. I'm a believer. I'm a believer. <laughs> he did, for sure. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat>
Wow, what a game. Opponent goes first, we have multiple twos and a ramp spell, so we're good with this. I think it's super deep, we'll probably have a great... Yeah, I mean, I think there will be lots of of builds uh, late into the format. People will discover things, for sure. Yeah, it's going to be a lot. I really like kickers. I used to play into the Royal all the time. It's so good. It's so good in this set. I don't know how much of that last game you caught, but we were really, uh, really into the roiling people. I think we just play the two drop here. If we draw another land, we get to play a snapping drake. If not, we might just play pickaxe. No, that, we would only do that if we played, if we drew a land. In for one. No block. No lands either. I guess we need to divination then. Hey, all right, have a great coaching session, man. Yeah, I hope you guys, I hope you guys get a sweet one. Thanks for uh, coaching me. I appreciate it, Max. Everybody go check out Max's stream. Uh, Max Combo. Unreal Magic player. Great guy. Good teacher. Alright, we just took three. They have a 4-3. We would like to be able to block that. Oh, we're in blocking land now, aren't we? I don't like that. Diviner won't die into a card because we don't have... Um, other wizards. We could just play Vine Gecko this turn. Take some hits. Can we kick anything next turn, though? Not really. We could kick... Uh, if we draw land, we could kick a, a Geyser Mage or a Royal Mage. If we draw land, we could kick Colony next turn. Which is kind of cool. I'm kind of thinking we just play Diviner and just try to trade off. They're pretty low on cards. We just want the game to go longer. We don't want to take damage. Etc, etc, etc. So yeah, let's do that. Could play Geyser Mage as well, but... We're not the, we're not the beatdown. Thanks, Max. Good luck to you as well. Sobek, need to start trading. I agree with you 100%. Let's see what they want to do. Looks like they might have some removal for us. Just unblockable. Yeah, that's pretty scary, man. Three in their party. This is a fast clock. In with both. Land is a nice one. I don't think Pickaxe is going to do much this game, unfortunately. I think it's Vine Gecko plus something else. Maybe Geyser Mage? Do we have anything to get back with Royal Mage? Yeah, we do, actually. Nice. Plus we've got Lull Mages hopefully next turn. Get on board here. Oh, they might have the counter spell. Looks like they, they maybe do here. 
I guess it could just be Seafloor Stalker's activation. Alright. Sky Dancer in. Mild our familiar and our guys right. That's fine. We just want to hit lands at this point, so. We're okay. Big old 3-3 three, three flyer. Is its converted mana cost 2? Because if it is... We're gonna get to take it. Probably should have played the pickaxe if that's what we were gonna do, but I don't know if this is gonna work. It does work like that. That is nice. That's, uh, that's super good. Wow. And it's set with kicker. This card gets better. Stalker can get pretty darn big, though. They don't have removal, so this is going to be tough for them to uh, deal with this Gloom Hunter then. <laughs> we could just start stealing all of their stuff. It's okay, buddy. It's okay, Coop. Getting getting aggressive here. Uh, probably just play an unkicked gnarled colony, to be honest. Since our next turn is going to be stealing something of theirs, that might do the last two points. So that game was fairly elementary, as they say. Okay, we're on the play. We've got ramp creatures. Removal. Draw. Love it. Sneaking guide. One mana, one one. Rogue makes things unblockable. Okay, so do we want to go colony or tangled floral hedron on two? If we do the hedron, we can essentially double spell. Gets us to a four four colony a little bit faster. I think it's better to do this. Four four is going to be pretty big. Hopefully bigger than the rest of what they've got going on. And that'll help us play the colony ambush as well. Probably time to get the relic down. So we're not hurting for like stuff to do. We're gonna play 4-4 four, four next turn. Then once we start fighting and field resurging, we'll get counters on this to snipe off the guide or whatever. So we'll take our three damage this turn. 
Wow. It's real good. If they have another warrior, we're not going to be able to block. Vine Gecko, you say? I don't think we can afford to do that right now. As sweet as that would be, we need to kick a gnarly colony and get ahead of this. Play Vine Gecko next turn and ambush something. <clears throat> it's been. And we can't block. That's really good. Okay, this is not looking good for us. What? Am I missing something here? This is a warrior. Warrior, warrior, warrior. They want us to block with the colony? I mean, I don't know how we don't take this. That didn't make any sense to me. Um, but that's cool. Gecko plus Royal is a nice one. I think we'll do that next. Which means we don't want to spend our blue mana. And I think we can even attack for four here if we really wanted to get cheeky. Because with the ability on the stack, we could bounce the Minotaur. But if they had another warrior to play first, then that wouldn't work, right? So I suppose we just pass. But we could get cheeky if we wanted. Tricky. X damage shark creature, planeswalker. Okay. We might be able to counter this as well. Three. This is a wizard, warrior, warrior, warrior. Oh, rogue. So it'll deal two. Okay, that's fine. Still worked? Oh! I'm dumb. I'm super dumb. I need to I need to bounce this rogue. My bad. Whoops. That would have been way better than than it was. Still pretty good though. I think. I think we're in an okay spot here. Bounce the Vanguard attack for four. Or do we use this on the uh, the Minotaur? We could ambush the Vanguard, kill the Spark Mage, and then this still comes down at five mana. It's pretty insane. But then we could potentially bounce it. It's kind of tough. So there's a chance they don't hit a land drop, right? But this doesn't have trample, does it? So we could just chump it here. And maybe we weren't supposed to attack.
Yeah, I don't think we do. I don't, I don't think we want to chump though. Domination. Converted mana cost of six. Three cards in the yard. Well, we definitely can't take five haste again, so we're gonna have to hold back. I think that attack might have been misguided. Kill that sneaking guide pretty soon. This is a nice little card here. In. Oh, uh, maybe not. Hmm. If they're able to, if they have removal in hand, then this is pretty risky. I think we just get in with the geyser mage. Since it can kill the minotaur if they block. And then we just get to kick another colony, I guess. Kick, or I just cast this normally, shoot the silencer, swing for four. And then we've, we've got the one one to chump if they've got another haster and we really need to block it. I guess we didn't actually need to do that right then. But it plays around a, uh, them having like a pump spell. That thing's big. That thing's very big. No trample though. So if we just cast a royal mage unkicked, the amulet and like the potential double blocks could hold it off. But even just the double block of these can hold it off. Maybe we can play one royal mage though. Seems reasonable to me just to have a board so, if we end up needing the uh, kicker of that later in the game, I'm going to be sad. But for now, it gives us a counter on the Relic Amulet. It gives us a body to chump or double block or whatever we need to do. This Colossus is a pretty big problem for us. Yikes. That's really good. I don't know if we can beat that. Don't know. I guess we want to trade there, which means we have to chump. Which I don't love. But otherwise, uh, we're double blocking, going to one on the Colossus. I guess I don't hate that. This doesn't have Trample, so we could like cast a Royal Mage. 
kicked, gained two life, but then we're at one, then we're just kind of dead after that. So I think this is the way we got to do it. That was a really good turn for them. Holy moly. Pretty scary stuff. Oh, that's pretty good against Seagate Glosses, though. Guess we'll just do that. Turn Timber Ascetic. That's gross. Menace. That's really good. I don't think we can win now. So they get to put the uh, the mace on the expedition champion. Can we steal something? What is this? A three drop? We could just steal this. If we steal the champion, and next turn we might be able to like cast Royal Mage and shoot whatever's wearing this. And their party will be two as opposed to three. So I guess this is is the way we have to play it. Oh, we don't even need to cast Royal Mage to, to do this because we just got the counter. So we're going to six. Mm. Or uh, five, rather. Scary stuff. And two. Okay. <laughs> and they can make Blood Priest unblockable and kill us that way, I guess. So well, that's pretty good. We don't really have any recourse to that. So we just have to hope they don't see it. Uh, well, I guess we can royal we can cast Royal Mage, shoot Blood Priest, and double block. That's how we do that. Do we play the other one as well? I don't think so. We want to get the trigger. Yeah, you're right, Sobek. Let's play it as a 2-1. Not dead yet. What else do we have to deal with? Great. That's not beatable. And that. Wow. Must be nice. That's pretty good. So, double spell. We only have one counter on the thing. I guess it's just enough. Just enough to not be dead. Oh no, this does kill us. Right? I think they're doing I think they're doing the right thing here. Yeah. They just swing swing out here. And we put these on this. 
and then shoot that and we're uh, we're cooked yeah good games that was close rats took a loss there wonder if I made any mistakes that game that cost that ended up costing us We held on to those royal mages and maybe we just needed to get them on onto the battlefield and just compete with what they had going on. Because they ended up not mattering for us. We were a little bit stuck on mana. Um, there was that one uh, attack I made with the colony knowing that we would just take five off of their their haste dude I, I shouldn't have made that attack we would have had four more life that could have been the difference all right we're on the play got some two drops might need to play this ambush as a land though i guess we'll see what we draw we can always play it uh maybe as our third land even Or do we just play it as our first land to make sure that we can curve out? I mean, we don't have any threes in hand just yet. I should have Cardboard Live running, by the way, and I don't. That way you guys will get to see what uh, we have in the deck. I'm going to decide later. Death Touch. Vine Gecko. Well, I guess we want to do that on two, since now we can maybe play Colony Kicked on four. We'll take some damage here, though. Land three, but we don't want... To trade the gecko off. So I guess we're playing this and maybe a royal mage. And then next turn, colony. Mm, that's scary. Double axe. That's pretty good, man. Yep. This is, this is a thing. Now we would want to fight that and two for one ourselves. But I suppose we'll just take damage instead. Squiddy squid. Well, I mean, if we draw land for Acetic next turn, we'll have blocks. We already have a double block on it, but that's that's no good. I think we would rather race them than hope that that works. Double axe, pretty sick, man. Pretty sick. But, I mean, we're doing okay job of racing ourselves here. We can chump block next turn. Or maybe they don't have a land play. That'd be good too, it's possible. Said it was possible, and for sure. But I don't think an attack here. Q. 
kick a gnarly colony and they choose not to attack. Interesting. Can't kick Royal Mage, not enough mana. Go Gecko Squid and just attack with all? They can trade, trade. If they block, so let's say they trade colony for colony. Light Blade on a colony, they still take three down to two, which means they still have to block Vine Gecko. Uh, I guess they could just block Snarecaster Colony and go to one. Which means maybe we need to attack with Royal Mage as well to make that lethal, because then they go. So then they have to go colony, colony, uh, trade, I guess here. So that makes them lose all of their creatures. So I think we have to swing out with everything. So this puts them, no, this is dead. This is lethal. Uh, sorry, this is lethal either way. Yeah. I don't know what I was thinking there for a second. Trample. Gnarly colony. It's gnarly. All right, we go first. Nice little two, three, four here with the amulet. We'll keep it. But I'm assuming we're supposed to just play the vine gecko first. Starting to see a lot more of these lands now. I think people are already onto them. Don't think it's better to start with Amulet than it is to just curve out, but I could be wrong about that. Maybe now we do it. We need a second green in order to kick this though. I think we do it now, though. Since our 3-2 doesn't do anything against their 2-1, we don't want to trade. They likely don't want to trade either, but... Nice. Well, there could be a, uh, a counter spell here. I think this is on cast, though. So, at the very least, we get in for three. I've not seen that counterspell. Oh, yeah, maybe we have. We did see it once in the pre... Uh, Pre-release. Early access event, I should say. What you got? Big slam. Royal Eruption, perhaps? No. Oh god. That's a scary one. Land would be good. No. Well, I think we still attack with both creatures. It's a double block on Vine Gecko. Isn't that bad for us? Plus we could have tricks here. They may not want to risk it. We will see. They are going to go for it, it looks like. This is super scary, though. Interesting.
Now a land would be super good. Oh, okay. Now, now it doesn't really matter for that purposes, but for those purposes, but we still get to bounce their token and jam for a lot of damage. So we will be doing that. Pretty sweet. Nice. That's pretty good for them. <laughs> That's pretty good. Alright, well. Now we've got access to two damage off the amulet if we want it. Looks like we'll just need the single damage. Into the royal, we could probably save. Unless I'm missing lethal. No, I don't think I am. Nice. Good move there by them. Shouldn't have attacked a narrow colony. It was a misclick. This deck is feeling pretty sweet. Another spellcraft. Nice. Wizard. It's not going to do it. We've got the bounce. Proof to 500. We're playing, playing 500 magic here, folks. Fortunately, all of our losses were at the very bottom of diamond, so we got to <laughs> benefit from the wins and rank up to diamond three. Opponent goes first. Yeah, we'll keep this and just play the floral hedron, I guess. We need to draw blue at some point, but if we do, if we should so happen to draw land, then we get to play this as a ramp creature. Uh, if we don't draw land on our first draw step, we'll just play it as land. So what would have been a mulligan is instead a, uh, an, uh, an easy keep. If we were to keep this and this was not potentially a land, this would be like a very sketchy keep. Or we're just like, we've got two two draw steps to find a land, hopefully we do. And you, you might do that, but now we don't have to worry. We actually be advantage of making a decision based on what we see next. If we draw land, we actually get to maybe even play like a better uh, game plan because we can uh, play, play this on turn two. Okay, we did not draw that land, so we will be playing it on turn one as a land. Oh dear. Okay, well, we are gonna need to see some lands at some points. Definitely down to trade this gecko off. The cleric's pretty important to them. And we need to not die. That's disgusting. So now our gecko doesn't uh, do anything, but maybe it'll grow in the future. It's gonna be a pretty tough one to win. We need to find an island like next turn. I think this is over. So at least we could play a two four and threaten a double block. Fortunately for us, our opponent's not adding to their board at least, but we need an island. All right, we found one, quite lucky. So now we have a chance. 
Uh, next turn is probably going to be visionary, I would think. But it might be nice to get the amulet going. We could go amulet royal mage and just get it started. Doesn't give us the double block on the healer, though. Well, now we don't. Now we may not get to do that at all if we don't draw land. Come on, land. Hey. Lucky. All right, well, we will play visionary to make sure that we hit land drops. I don't want to double block this with royal mage gecko, but I would trade a visionary for it. So unfortunately, this amulet's not, not at its best here. Ooh, that's a nice draw. Okay, we're getting back in this. But now we might get to cast a four mana four four, grow our gecko. I'm just gonna trade off here. Okay, pretty easy colony here, I think, over uh, ba Baloth or Diviner. So now we have good blocks. And then maybe next turn we uh, get to Baloth or something. Opponent is really rocking us right now, though. Okay. So now I think we want to get the amulet going. We've got a little bit of an opportunity here. None of these are warriors, except for this one, obviously. We can start picking off these blood priests, potentially. And trying to control the board a little bit. We are, uh, we're in trouble here, for sure. There's another tactician, so now we need to just kill one of the tacticians, I think. Luckily, we drew land, so we get to go diviner and shoot. Now, are we attacking with royal mage? I don't think so. Let's pass it back. We've got a clock in the air now, at least. That's a pretty big game. So we need to remove this Blight Priest next, I think. Now that they've got uh, a Celebrant in play. Acetic is a nice one. Do we have anything to get back? No. So, gain three life, that'll buy us a little bit of time. Start clocking them in the air. It's gonna be a, this is a really powerful deck because there's so much incidental life, life gain that like, we're very, very far away from being able to kill them. And they just get to smash uh, our flyer. We get to draw a card though. Squiddy squid. Colony ambush, pretty nice. Kill Blight Priest. Gets a counter on the amulet. Which could kill another Blood Priest. We don't have enough mana to do all of that though. So I think we just... do this while they don't have any tricks available. Is this a warrior? No, I should have checked that before. Um, could just start taking down their X1s. Their X2s aren't that scary. Get more value this way. So now, maybe next turn we can return the fight spell. Okay. Blade 
Priest is back. Yeah, it's kind of insane. So we get to have Royal Mage for five mana. Or is there a way we can get two counters in this amulet? No. Party of three right now, so we're going to be taking four when they cast that one. So we're in, uh, we're in trouble here, but... Oh no, we're taking five. But, I mean, there's nothing, no, nothing we can really do. We're just trying to, try not to die here. So we're gonna go to three. I don't think we wanna play that as a land. I think we certainly wanna use it to kill the Blight Priest. If we can. Oh, uh, yeah, sure, Ian. Uh, yeah, just give me one sec here. This is kind of an intense game. After this game, I think we're done for the day, so I'll be, I'll be, I'll be coming and raiding you. Um... Would love to kill that Celebrant. Maybe that's what we do. We kill Celebrant, and then we kill Blight Priest. Could get blown out by removal here, potentially. I think I'm just gonna do this right now. I don't wanna take the chance that they have some kind of way to save it. Could attack with one Royal Mage. But, I mean, what is two damage right now? They're at 28. We need to stabilize. Okay, that was lucky. Did not have anything. Do we have anything with Kicker to get back? Not yet. So we probably just want to Cascade Seer, try to find some lands or some ways to gain life. And shoot something. Then we might be able to start attacking. Is that land gonna be any good? Six mana, seven mana allows us to, yeah. I think we maybe want it. I don't think we need the field research. Maybe we don't need either. Maybe we're just trying to gain life. Probably start pushing damage now. Opponent can pretty easily just absorb this nine here. If they find another blood priest, we're toast. Or a way to recur the one that's in their graveyard. Pretty scary. We're in a tricky little spot here. Uh, that's not going to kill us, but we have to discard two. So we'll discard field research since we can definitely get it back. 
Probably Baloth. Since Squid, we can just kind of slip in. Uh, in our curve somewhere. No attacks is nice. Huh. Don't think we want to kick this. I think we just want to cast it. Let's see, if we did kick it, it would be five mana. And we don't have enough mana to activate the relic, which we definitely want to do. So yeah, I think we just play it as a as a wizard. Or we Sproutling and get back... Um, I guess like Colony Ambush. I think it's better to just kill their stuff though. Now we can really start to bring the heat. All right. Maybe we were supposed to alpha. Good game. Wow. All right. That was a swingy close game. That was uh, all about the relic amulet there and the vulnerability of X1s to that card in particular. Whew! Alright, we did it. Or did we? Seven and one. Get a little screenshot of that. How about... 